Ah, buonasera. And good evening, everybody. It's Mamada Plan here, back in the amazing world of the Sea of Thieves on the Xbox One. And I'm so incredibly happy, I'm so incredibly pumped today, because the beta has launched again for this weekend. And I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happier, Tanya. You don't look as happy as I am, my dear. Do you not like the song? I think it she doesn't. But welcome everybody to the Sea of Thieves on the Xbox One. I'm massively, massively excited today. Um, the last episode uploaded to the channel was actually recorded last weekend, and we had some audio fails, and uh, I was really, really upset about it. I thought it was going to be the last chance I got to play before the release on the 20th, but I am honoured and super, super excited to be here playing the closed beta on the scale test yet again. So, for all you guys who are excited about it, hit that like button for me, and let's get into checking out some things. But uh, firstly, you'll notice I'm all by myself here. I'm all by myself here. Um, the guys over in the States haven't quite logged in yet, and I wanted to actually get on and check out what the game is like if you're playing solo. Um, because I do know there is a few mechanics put in place for solo players, so I believe they're on the D-pad? They are, yes. You can actually kind of say things. Ahoy! And uh, you can shout, like, look out for that, and, and all of these kind of things. So if you're... Uh, roll, roll on deck laughing. <laughs> roll on deck laughing. Lol. Lol. Loddle. Roll on deck laughing. Hashtag Loddle. Could be a thing. So there is a couple of things to make it so that if you're with people that don't have microphones you can communicate, but generally I'm wondering what the game is like if you're playing solo. I imagine it's going to be quite a challenge. I mean, it looks beautiful still. I can never get over how nice the game looks. I love the artwork. I love the animation. It's all amazing stuff. So we're still on the beta and the gold hoarders are here. How's it going there, buddy? Wow, I like all your hair. Harry the Hoarder. What a great name. That gem in your eye. Look at that gleaming in the sun. Super beautiful. There are going to be some other factions that will be opening on release. Um, I believe one of them is called uh, the Trader of Souls or or something along those lines. Another one is a Merchant Alliance, which will actually ask you to gather a certain set of materials and supplies to fill your quotation orders which is super interesting, and along with a buttload of customization and different kind of stuff to give you your own feel. But I've been playing for a little while on the closed beta last weekend. I got about 700 pieces of gold here, which is too bad. Let's see what Harry the Hoarder has to offer. Browse Gold Hoarders offers. Let's have a look here. And we have the same one, a swag plundered by the lowly grandee Preston. I'm assuming we may get access to a different one once we level up a little bit, but let's go ahead and buy this dude and uh, bring you guys along with me on my very first solo adventure in the world of the Sea of Thieves. So we got ourselves our quest, which is amazing. We got our inventory full of all of our stuff. If we see any barrels around, we can kind of try to stock up a bit, although our ship has most of the things we're going to need already. Here's some more cannonballs. Uh, here's some more cannonballs. Uh, here's some wooden planks. We're going to be needing those. And what's this? Looks like an ammunition box, but I can't access it. Well, that'll do be just fine. Let's check out this little dude. This is the sleuth, the tiny little ship uh, for a one or two man crew. Huh? We just go ahead and jump on in here. So we've got our helm, and all of our sail controls are actually up by here. So we've got the angle to catch the wind, the length of the sail itself, and our anchor is here too. And also, haha, <laughs> I really like that effect, that I can see the map from here, so I don't have to go all the way down below deck every time to check out what's happening on the map, which is super good. Looks like here's our ammo chest, and this would be our armory, which I'm going to hop into straight away, because I would like the blunderbuss on one instead of my sword, and my rifle on two instead of that. So I've got all the weaponry weaponry. Um, I feel like I'd stand a better chance fending myself off. We've got here our equipment chest for all of our things, our vanity chest, clothing chest here, and some grog, which is super good. I just heard a load of booms. Please tell me that's not somebody going to blow my ship out of the water before I've even left port. No, we look okay, we look okay. I imagine if we run into anybody, we're going to have a super bad time. So I'm going to propose my voyage, which is this one, and I'm going to vote on it, because I'm the only one here. So I'm going to go ahead and get that swag plundered by the lowly Grandi Preston, is our active quest, is where we shall be heading. Let's get ourselves some cannonballs. Oh, oh it looks like I'm full. I have one whole map, which is amazing. So if I get my cannonballs, can I load the cannon? Let's get that boy ready. And this guy too. God forbid I have to use you, because I'm on my own. I don't know how well that's going to go. So let's have a look here. On the right bumper, we've got ourselves a map now. Let's have a look at this guy. Alright, okay. 
Alright, good. So now we got to find this on here. So let's zoom out a little bit, have a little scout about, and see if we can find this guy pretty sharpish. It's an it's a easy one, one of the free guys, so I wouldn't imagine. There it is. Snake Isle. That is definitely it. That is definitely it. So if we hit the A button, we can mark that. And uh, it's north. North. North be the way we be going. North be the way. Set sail for north. Set sail north. All right, beautiful stuff. So which way are we heading at the moment? We are facing southwest, so that's a little bit of a shame. Let's go ahead and lower our sails. We won't catch the wind quite yet because we only want to head out of port, and we're going to need to raise the anchor, which is also something we're going to have to do. So we just push forward on this, walk around in a circle. Raises a lot quicker this one than on the big boat that we played on before. So I'm going to record this one, just a little bit of solo play to start with. Uh, the guys will be on pretty soon, and I believe it's going to be Bad Wolf and Playbook and I are going to make another multiplayer recording. Hopefully this time we won't have any audio recording issues, and uh, it will all work out really well for us. That storm looks beautiful, and I want to go to it. I want to sail into it, but my destination is leading me north. So um, I shall not take myself there if need not arise for it. Alright, let's straighten ourselves off. Huge amount of oversteer on the vessels. I believe this one is a little bit more handleable. Now we should be heading due north. We can see our little map down here. Looks good, looks good. Let's try and uh, set the sail angle, catch a bit more wind, uh, which would be... Wait. Uh, we're sailing into the wind. Okay, well in which case I'm not going to catch any wind no matter what I do. So let's just kind of head this way a little bit. That sounds amazing. It literally sounds like cannon fire. It could be this aisle just ahead of me here. It could be. I really like this, how that gold stick shakes the controller. That lets me know that it's set forward, that it's going to be set straight. I believe it is indeed actually that one right ahead of me. Oh man, we are actually really close to that storm. I've never sailed in a storm before. I'm very excited to see what happens, although I feel like it's going to be a bad time. Look at that. Oh yeah, we we got to go in there and check that out. We've got to. We have to know what happens when you sail in there. Although, I'm already getting... Look at the deck getting wet. Look at this. Oh wait. Do you think... Oh no! <laughs> oh no! We take on water. We take on water in a storm. Ship's going to sink before we even got anywhere. <laughs> Super huge disaster. Look out for the land. Yeah, I feel like we're okay. Let's just make sure we don't crash into the island would be a, another good start. I feel like this is going to be the place we're looking. Let's just check again. Yeah, it's got to be. It has to be. This has got to be the one. So let's try and bring ourselves as close to shore as I possibly can without running aground would be excellent. Um, although I haven't got too good at this, I always kind of leave it a bit too late and end up crashing into the ground and thusly sinking my vessel. But hopefully we won't have a huge, huge problem here. Snake Island. This is indeed the one that I want. Snake Island. Uh, I'm not sure whereabouts we want to go to try and find this treasure, but I'm going to try and get myself a little bit closer. And then if I swing the helm all the way to this side, like that, get off and hit the anchor. Hopefully, it should turn and swing the boat round without running the ground. Oh, look at that. Very nice indeed. Very nice. We also want to make sure that this is set to straight before we get off the boat. Otherwise, we'll start sailing and it will uh, turn around in a huge circle. All right, let's do it. I could have fired myself ashore, actually. Probably would have been a better idea rather than swimming in the water with the fishies. But it is beautiful in the water with the fishies. I really like it. Who wouldn't like the water and the fishies? Ah, okay. So, hopefully my little boat is going to be just fine over there. Let's have a little look at our map. Alright, cool. So, um, our, which direction are we facing at the moment would be very good. Okay, so that's north. That's really handy to know. So, we're facing north. So, we've landed on the south shore of the island. So, we want the northern side next to a little kind of rock outcrop there. Let's just try and run straight over the top here, shall we? Oh, there may be a couple of skeletons and bad dudes around here. Ooh, little little cave thing. Ooh, okay. Ooh, and a cannon. Ooh, and a few cannons. Is there any treasure in here? I'll take some cannonballs. Uh, why wouldn't I take some cannonballs? You got more cannonballs? All right, cool. That's nice. Okay. Still trying to get to the northern shore. 
Good lord. Good lord. That storm is loud. Uh, okay, this is a bit strange. Are we at the northern shore yet? Alright. This would be the northern shore of the island. Okay. So we are at the northernest point, I'm going to assume here. Alrighty. Hmm. Can be a little tricky to decipher. Ooh. Snake Isle. But of course it could be up on top. Alright, let's have a look again. So we've got a little rock outridge somewhere. Here's a little rock outridge. Yeah, I assume that that would be here. Is there a sandy path down here? Does appear that there is. Huh. Ow. Right, so I'm going to guess it's going to be around here. Either like here. Nailed it! Boom! We got myself some booty. I'm digging up the booty. All that rich in booty. All the gold a man could ever want. I'm going to be rich. Rich beyond my wildest dreams. We got ourselves a booty chest. Chest of booty. So let's head our way back to our amazing little ship here. So far, so good. Not bad at all. Didn't even have any skeletons to encounter. Haven't seen any other sails on the horizon, which make me feel a lot better about everything in my life. And uh, continue along our way here. And it looks like we're going to sail into the storm on the way back, which is just going to be amazing. I'm a little bit terrified about it, but I haven't experienced it yet, and I want to see what it's like, so I'm going to check it out. It's going to be super, super fun. Look at that little green, green sleuth here. Not a bad thing at all. Not bad. All right. Beautiful. I feel like we've done quite well there. I'm just going to pop my treasure down here. Because, let's face it, if somebody's going to board me and try and take my booty, there's not much I'm going to be able to do to stop them. I am on my own. So we want to be heading due south. Due south to head home. Which I believe is straight away. Due south, make way. Raise the anchor. Would probably help me out here. So much faster raising this than on the big ship, I must admit. Oh, clink. There we go. Anchor is raised. Southward is this way, right into that storm, and yet again, we appear to be sailing into the wind. I haven't had much luck with the wind today, I must admit. Both setting sail and returning home, I have been sailing into the wind, which is a bit of a shame. Although if I turn myself at that kind of angle, and uh, grab the sail angle here, and kind of bring it this way, I might be able to catch a bit more. That's better. In fact, I'm going a little bit too close to that rock for my liking. And also, the, the storm's over there. I want to check it out. <laughs> it seems like a really bad idea, but I really want to check out the storm. All right, let's straighten ourselves off here. So we're going, like, southwesterly, roughly. That'll be just fine. Right into the eye of the tornado there. Yep, that's pretty much where we want to go. All right, cool. Let's see what happens here. An ominous black cloud and the boom like cannon fire. Oh, it's amazing. Um, a lot of water though. There's going to be a lot of rain. I'm probably going to have a hard time just dealing with the amount of rain on my deck, potentially flooding my ship. But, ah, oh, this is going to be great fun. I want to check out what happens. Oh, it's getting super dark. Not only are we in a storm, but the sun is going down as well. Heading pretty much the right direction. I feel like, oh, oh, wait. Oh, the wheel's being pulled. No, oh, that's not me. Oh, that's excellent. So the wheel's going to start to be pulled around. Got to fight against it. Oh, my compass. Oh, my compass is going crazy. Oh, my God, the seas. <laughs> oh, my good Lord, look how big the seas, the swell is getting. Plunder outpost. Is this actually where I'm heading? Oh, it's so hard to turn the wheel now. I have a feeling this might actually be where I'm trying to dock. Oh my god. Oh my dear lord, did you see that? Can I get struck by lightning? Is this something that can happen? I feel like it might be something that can happen. I'm going to try and... Yeah, I'm going to try and dock here. I'm just going to go ahead and try and dock here because I feel like I can sell my chest here. Oh my dear lord. I can, I can barely turn as well, even on my little sleuth. I can barely freaking turn. Raise the sail. Raise the sail up. 
reduce the amount of wind we're catching, so we'll uh, be able to turn a little bit better. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, Greg! No, we're gonna crash! No, don't crash, little boat! Oh no, we crashed! Oh, I crashed. That means I'm gonna have holes in my boat. Yep, I got holes in my boat. Let's patch that up. Now this is where it would start getting difficult being on uh, on your own in this game is as soon as some damage starts to happen it's going to be a real bad time real bad time trying to repair it um, and keep the ship sailing I mean god forbid we were in a fight and I'd be trying to defend my ship repair the damage to it it would be absolute crazy times it really really would Let's just bail out what we can here there we go oh 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 I feel like the rain is filling it up as fast as I am <laughs> bailing it. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. Let's see if we can bring ourselves to shore uh, and dock here. Uh, so let's make sure the wheel is set to straight. Oh my god! <laughs> I just got struck by lightning. Oh my god. Okay, that, that's set straight. Let's raise our anchor. <laughs> Just try and get a bit closer to shore. I feel like this is a really bad idea because we're so close to the to the island here. Okay, no, we're we're okay. Oh my dear lord! The wind blows us around. Something terrible. Is it fight against fight against it to straighten yourself off. Oh, it literally is pulling my wheel all the way flat to one side, and then all the way flat to the other. No, we're getting taken into the storm. I want to, I want to pull up there. You can do it, pull. Pull the wheel. Okay, go for it. Drop the anchor again. Hopefully, that will swing us around, and we'll land pretty much beautifully perpendicularly. Nope, we just stopped it. All right, that's fine. I'm leaving it here. I'm leaving it here. I'm not too worried about it at all. That'll do absolutely great. Oh, I'm pretty sure I can sell this one here and it shouldn't be a huge ordeal. I can't believe I got struck by lightning. <laughs> I can't believe I got struck by freaking lightning. That's super harsh. I hope my boat doesn't sink by the time I go and sell this one. Oh my god, did you see that? That was close. Oh man, absolutely crazy times. But I feel like we've also done it. We have managed to return with our little bit of treasure here. And there we are. Look, there's a gold hoarder right there. In fact, I think this is the dude that we left from. Hey, man, how's it going? Sell the chest. We've done it. We've done it. He has indeed sold the chest and made myself some booty. What else you got, buddy? You got anything more and shiny and interesting for me? A swag plundered by the lowly grandy person. Measly pirate on this initiation voyage. I'm going to get another one. I feel like we have a bit more time to try and do another adventure. That one was way too easy. Come Let's back. go for it. Alright, sweet. So, we got ourselves another bit of treasure, another bit of booty to go and check out. It'll be really interesting to check out what all the other missions are that would be available uh, through the other people. I really am excited about that. But the storms, oh my god. Really love the storms. Like, it's so hard to control the ship. So hard to control the ship at the same time. It's great. Hailing it down outside, wheels going nuts on its own. Oh man, this is going to be crazy times. Let's go ahead for it. We'll put that one down, we'll vote on it because it's just me and we'll win the vote because it's just me. I'm going to bail some water because my boat is slowly sinking in the storm. <laughs> I wonder if it can actually sink you or if it just gets to a certain degree. And ooh, we got two maps this time. Ooh, double booty. I like the idea of a double booty. Let's check it out. So let's see here, we go to this one, we can check out, ooh, okay, that's a mighty fine looking isle, that's a mighty fine looking isle, let's see if we can track that one down, looks like a pretty large scale island, so hopefully we should be able to spot this guy, I do know as well that the map will be getting a severe scale increase, is that it there? No, I believe that that is not, that's not it there, it looked like a large island, but perhaps it was not such a large island. Lagoon of Whispers, no. No, it's not you, it's not Chicken Isle. Can I unmark this? I can unmark that, excellent. Ah, there it is. Sharkbait Cove. 
Alright, Shark Bay Cove is indeed one of them. What's the other one I want to go to? That looks a little bit like Hailing Island, where I grew up. That's crazy. So let's have a look here. That would be it there. Crook's Hollow. Alright, cool. So we've got two different locations to go to. One to the southwest, one to the northeast. Hmm. But I feel like the southwest one is the closer one to us, so let's go for that guy first. Why wouldn't we? Makes perfect sense. Southwest it is. Southwest! Set sail southwest! Let's see what direction we're facing at the moment. Okay, that's fine. So we'll go ahead, we'll lower the sail the rest of the way. Looks like I'm catching some wind there as it is. Raise our anchor up, and we should be ready to make way. What I'm really interested about is what's going to happen when we run into other pirates who are going to want to take our stuff. I would hope that they wouldn't see us as much of a threat away from the dock. Don't. No, 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 balls. Balls. It's very difficult sailing in a storm. It's very difficult sailing in a storm. We do have two more holes in front of the ship. They don't appear to be leaking right now. I think that's because they're raised up out of the water. Probably because we have still ran aground. Let's, um patch these up. There you go, like nobody would ever know. Nobody would ever know that we've just crashed into the dock. I uh, hope nobody minds. Oh, it looks like the storm is passing. Oh, oh, that's great. Although I did enjoy getting hit by lightning. I found that absolutely hilarious. There we go. Love how we got all these little windows around that we can kind of just fire our water out of. We can actually get some distance on throwing this stuff. Oh wait, was there no more? Oh no, there's some more. I mean, check it out. That's a fair way to go for throwing a water bucket. That's amazing. Oh man, how much water? Oh my good lord. Our little boat actually holds a lot of water before it starts to sink. I'm very surprised with this. Like, how much water can it actually hold? This is insane. And is that a little brig? It is. We have a tiny little brig. Okay, I feel like something might be wrong. <laughs> okay, you know what? It's dry enough. Let's make way. Or at least try to. Um. Uh, little help? Anybody? Um. So I've managed to get my boat stuck in port. This does appear to be a thing. Oh wait, oh wait, hang on. I think the game's helping me out. The game is helping me out. It's moving me backwards. It's turning me around. Nope, still stuck. Hmm. I believe that this is why we have a, um, my crew and a scuttle ship. And we can vote to do this. Meaning that we just leave. Yeah, uh, and the ship suddenly springs with 100,000 leaks and goes down. Bye, little ship. I'm sorry I got you stuck. I didn't mean to. Peace out, dude. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, she was a fair old vessel. She served us well until she got stuck in port by a storm. Farewell, fair maiden. May we meet again in a better life and on smoother, calmer waters. Well, that's a shame. Um, so now what? But yeah, I, I could see how this would be really, really tough playing on solo. Just doing it all by yourself, there's a lot of things to manage, a lot of things that you're going to have to keep control of, and a lot of multitasking going on. But I must admit, it's quite an adventure, and it is quite a challenge. I could see it being quite fun playing this solo as well. Obviously, really, it's good to play multiplayer. The multiplayer in the game is amazing, the amount of teamwork that's involved. But I must admit, this has been quite fun to have a play with too. If you guys have liked it, do me a massive, massive favor and hit the like button. And if you're looking forward to more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button too so you won't miss out on any episodes coming to the channel in the next few days and as per always i greatly love you all all the best take care and i can't wait to see you all again soon